Hey there folks, this is GreenyXI, welcoming you right back to Let's Play Sketch of Arcadia. This is episode 36. In the last episode, we found this whole city under the under the tundras, <laughs> under the glacier. Um, and we're going for the next moonstone. So, I'm not sure if we're done with the entire dungeon. It seemed really short. Like we got there in about, what, half hour? Compared to some other dungeons in this game. <laughs> you know, it just seemed short as hell. But anyways, let's check out the boss then. It could be like a midway boss to the dungeon, or it might not be. <laughs> wow, that's a hell of a design. That's a hell of a design. I'm trying to think what it reminds me of, but I can't quite get it. <laughs> Alright, let's go. So, what's it called? Veltum. Okay, we'll kick things off with just a couple of attacks, I think, and some inclems, maybe. That might be, might be a shout. So, onto Vise. Um, onto Enrique, and we'll see how that turns out. Just for the first turn. I'm just glad Inclem doesn't use up much SP, so you can just start a fight and get on with it. What I might do is chuck everyone on red for this boss. Like, I know... Oh, crap! It's confused. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> it's not a good start, and that was a counter as well. <laughs> it's gonna be a fun boss if if that confusion rate is pretty high. It's gonna be a fun boss. <laughs> oh God. Get off! Oh, it wasn't a counter, was it? Oh, there you go. Then. At least confusion don't last long in this game. That's, that's quite nice. So, like I said, I'm going to change it over everyone to red. Hmm. She can stay on silver for now, actually. And for now, ooh, I don't know what to do with her. I want to keep her for healing, so maybe I should hold back on magic for some SP. Right, what have we got Yeah, Anything... I didn't buy a fire type box. Oh, a pyrite box. We'll just try it, because I was just going to defend with her anyway. So, And I think she can actually do the same. Um, yeah, over to red. There you go, that's better, isn't it? Let's, try this. Let's see how much this does then. This is not... <laughs> it's not really an up-to-date spell. Nothing! Ooh, okay. Why nothing? Is it just a moon to it? It doesn't look like it should be, but I guess it must be. Yeah, there we go. Don't use fire magic on it. Ooh, have a launcher. <laughs> I like the play on words. <laughs> I love plays on play plays on words? You know what I mean. Wow, that was some damage. And they got increm on them as well. Right. <gasps> a good crit. Yeah. Over a thousand damage with just a physical attack. I like it. Okay. So let's get uh, Pirate's Wrath. Ooh, we could do Pirate's Wrath. We've got some items. Yeah, we've got items to heal up. We'll be okay. We'll go for Pirate's Wrath. Wait, let me check something before I do that. Uh, yeah, that's the one I'm thinking of. Sorry, I should have learned the names of the moves by now. Is it? It's been a while. <laughs> Um, I don't really want single target, unless that's all I got, obviously. Mm -hmm. Sacrum Crystal, that's what I'm looking for. Go on then, let's just use one of them. Fina can defend, and Enrique, yeah, you can just get an attack in. Nice, kick things off with Pirate Trap. Let's see how much damage it does. We're on Red Element. We've got Increm on, I think it's still on. And, um... It's a hell of a damaging attack. Whoa, now! Whoa! <laughs> oh, shit! They're gonna die. Even though we did all that damage. It's gonna hit them both because they're stood right next to each other. I'm Fina? Yeah, I'm Fina. Wow. So, okay, we're getting some positivity out of this. We're... Ike is going to heal up straight away and Fina's going to be back on full health, right? Let's try it's just going to be the matter of reviving everyone. 
and <laughs> yeah, revive another one and trying to get maybe another pirate chart in. That would be enough to. Okay, we're going for Rise Land. What am I going to do then? We've got a Rise Land box, so we'll go for that with Vise first. And we are going to risk. Mm, let's risk a Rezan for Enrique. We haven't seen this boss do anything. Well, it did a physical attack, didn't it? But other than that, we haven't seen it do much other than um, the Avalanche remove. I want to see what else it can do. Wow, come on now. I mean, obviously, our Vise and Enrique when he comes back now. Whoa! <laughs> we'll, um, we'll have lost in Krem now. So that's a bit of a bugger. Come on, cross those fingers. No, you're not getting up, is he? Bollocks. I should just use a vice then. Crystal or something. Alright. Um, what can we do? What can we do? I think... Alright. Defend. For this turn, we're going to go overly defensive. Uh, rise land box on him and her. If she gets the chance to. I don't know how this is going to work out. But we're going to try another sack land crystal. Jesus bloody Christ, but at least he's going for Ica. And maybe it'll only hit Ica. I'm not sure about Vise. He's in the middle-ish. Right, just her. She's fine. So yeah, we've survived this turn. And now, because I'm using items just to save up the SP and get the Pirate's Wrath on the go. In the hopes that it's enough. It's enough to finish him off. It's a tough boss just because of that one bloody move. That helped. Right, good. Fina's the only one who's weakened a bit now, so. Not quite enough, but we'll go for a Cutlass Fury. Um, I don't know how this is going to work out, actually, but we'll, we'll try it. Uh, Sacra's Crystal on yourself, and a Royal Blade. Jesus! Fina's gonna die off now. And we might potentially kill off the boss. <laughs> you shouldn't complain about <laughs> the EXP wise, you know. How is this gonna work? Right, okay. Just Fina gone. That's probably the best case scenario. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Either the boss is gonna be dead now, or. <laughs> that was pointless. Or, um. He's going to be very close. Okay, let's skip through these special abilities. Okay, and I think Vice should do more damage. Oh, so we're getting the chance to actually heal up and get that EXP for Fina. Good. So I don't want Fina to fall behind. Okay, so... How can we go about this? We got the SP for it, so that's good. <laughs> um, a sacrum? No, we haven't actually got the SP for it. So yeah, I guess a good rise land box. Get her back and defend. He's just attacking. Bloody! And he missed. Wow. <laughs> wow. Again, an easy go of it this turn. You know what I'm looking forward to? I've, um... Oh! Not that! <laughs> what happened there? Oh, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, do you know what? We'll carry on from Bayou. I've used one Pirate's Wrath within Cremon, and it took him down to pretty much our health, with one, one or two physical attacks at the same time. So... Let's get cracking with this. I had to revive her because the boss actually used something called Death Laser with her, which actually killed her in one. It did a lot of damage. I'm not sure if 
really, you know, it would have killed anyway. I, I don't know. She died anyway. So, <laughs> oh, of course, have a launcher. Of course. I shouldn't kill anyone off. Everyone's health is pretty okay. I did heal up. And they're defending, I guess. So that's good. <laughs> and just doing everything with Vise this <laughs> this time around. Which is amazing. <laughs> wow. Okay, Vise has still got Increm on. If Pirate Trap don't kill it off, I will be very surprised. So everyone else can just defend. Good. He's attacking more this time instead of using Aval No! Avalanche. <laughs> At least he got a critical in. I'm happy with that. And at least he attacked the enemy. <laughs> Do you know what? Alright, that's... That's good. But I think we'll defend with it. She is actually going to use something to get everyone up and running again. Because we don't need all the SP, so... This might be enough to finish the fight off. There we go. Wow, I'm glad you can skip animations. Not spells, but... You know, go with the confusion. So what's Vice gonna do now then? Because I didn't give him I didn't actually give him an attack to do, did I? Because he was confused. Is everyone alive? All all alive and kicking? Good. Oh yeah, just healed up. Of course they're alive. <laughs> Alright, will Royal Blade be enough to finish it off? Not quite. But not far off. Right, so yeah, Cutlass Fury. Everyone else, I think, can defend. And we should be okay. Even if it does this, because we're defending, we should be okay. But yeah, this has been a tough fight. I forgot what I was going to do between last episode and this episode. Was actually have a couple of fights um, around the save point out by there. Just to maybe level a bit, because this dungeon has been a bit shorter. But I, I, I forgot. <laughs> so, there we go. Boss done anyway. We got there. No? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah! Oh, thank God. That was tougher than it should have been, considering his health wasn't that amazing. Yeah, okay. Look at that EXP Fina could have missed out on last time. I can't believe we had to do that twice. A turn is good. And a crystal end box. Alright. Not amazing, but we got we got something out of it. Um, yep, Ike, you can heal us up now, I think. Oh, the game crashed. Why did the game crash? That's why I'm wondering. It's a bit a bit of an oddity. Um Ike, 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 I meant. So she learnt. Eternes. The last move is another insta-kill one, but can do damage as well, so I think it's worth learning. I think with Silver, maybe Ryslem is the only one, and then you can pretty much give up on the rest. <laughs> or, you know. So I might put her on red as well. Yeah, let's do that. We're going to get equipment. Um, These can go back to green, just carry on learning a bit more green. Whether it's necessary or not, I don't know. But I just... I'll feel good when they have all, like, green... Uh, spells learnt. I do like my healing. And I, I, I might get a bit... <laughs> a little bit... Um, I can't talk. I'm trying to think. <laughs> um, my OCD might kick off if I don't actually learn the rest of the, the greens. Yeah. Let's keep... Let's go. Oh, thank God. I was tempted just then to go back and save after that boss, because of what happened. But, nah, we'll we'll be okay, I think. Where can we go? Where can we go? Let's try going left first. There might be something. It's a long path to take for there to be nothing there. It's not. <laughs> Maybe the other direction. It's just a big old city. Like, you, you can imagine, like... Maybe giants live in here or something. Ooh, treasure chest. And we already got the one with the tre the um the sellable light, didn't we? A moonberry. Good. I'm not gonna learn anything. Did I just see something? Hold on. Yes, he's breathing ice, and I only just noticed. He's you know, when it's cold, breathing fog or whatever. That's a nice bit of detail for a Dreamcast game. 
I remember back on Golden Sun when I was playing when I was playing that on the Game Boy Advanced first game for the Game Boy Advance that I had because I was so excited. It was the system seller for me. Um. Oh my god! When I saw footprints in the snow on Golden Sun, I was ecstatic. <gasps> Jackman. Oh, I don't believe it. Mm-hmm. There he is. Who's there? What's he called? Jackma? Captain! <laughs> what are you kids doing here? What do you think? It really is you. I never thought I'd see you again. Yeah, well... Uh, it's been a while, Captain. <laughs> I had a feeling you survived the attack. But, Captain, what are you doing at the bottom of Glacier? You asked us first, to be fair. Hmm... Yeah, is he gonna answer? What? What? No, it's not. It's the whale he was after. I can't quite think of the name of it now. Vacnum. Vacnum? Yeah, Vacnum. Hmm. Follow me. Um, okay. Is he dead? No, he's still alive. He was badly wounded by Ramirez's ships. It's a fatal wound. Rachnum is dying. Oh. And Drachma didn't get to do it. I bet that's the thing, innit? When Rachnum fled from Ramirez, I got pulled along. If I wasn't attached to him, the little Jack would have been destroyed. This is his home. Captain, you mean to tell me that you've been alone here with Vacnum the whole time? Aye. Oh. Is that? Vice, look, that light. Uh, is that the moon crystal? <gasps> it must be, which would mean that this arc will, Vacnum, is the purple Gigas. I can't believe that Vacnum's the purple Gigas. Twist! The name of the purple Gigas is Plurgoth. According to the legends, the citizens of the purple civilization implanted the purple crystal into a living creature. Then that means that Vacnum was once a normal arc whale. <gasps> Alundra 2 style? Yes, I think after Vacnum had been transformed into the purple Gigas, his master perished, and he has been wandering the skies ever since. I thought if the master, or the one that summoned the, the Gigas, was destroyed, then they turned back, or they died, or something. It happened with one of them that we were fighting. Was it the red one? Why did you stay here all that time? If the little Jack is here with you, why didn't you leave? I've spent my life searching for Rachnum to avenge my crew and my son. I wasted all those years. Rachnum saved me from Ramirez. I just thought that I could watch over him in his last moments. It's the least I could do, excuse me. Hmm. So now we gotta save him? Do we just take the crystal out? Is that okay? <laughs> Why is he making that noise? I'm not sure. What's wrong? I'm here for you. This isn't good. Look at his eye. You received the purple moonstone. Crystal. I wanted to be a bit quiet for that part. It's one of the better parts of the game and it's so subtle. Oh. What's that? What's he keeping? 
Oh, he's getting rid of the fire, that's right, okay. I thought he was keeping something of the whale kind of thing. <laughs> that's an odd way to do the animation. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. This moment's amazing. But... It's just wrapping up um, Drachma's sort of part, I guess. I like how the purple section was so much quick, quicker than some of the others, though. It's nice to have that bit of speedier sort of uh, progress. Mm. Chasing Rackham was my reason for living. And now I've got to start over. When you're as old as me, it's not easy to change your ways. I'm sorry, but I cannot go with you. We've got a full party, I mean. <laughs> Guys, you sure we should let him go? Just let him go. Or, I, I mean, yeah, is what he wants. Yeah, we should just let him go. I can't imagine what he's going through right now. Captain, we finally met up again. I guess this is goodbye. Oh. Boy, you've become quite a sailor. I'm proud of you. <laughs> it's a little strange to hear compliments coming from you. <laughs> Captain, before you go, there's something I wanted to tell you. You said that you and Rachnum were both alone. But you're not alone, Captain. We've been with you the whole time. No matter how far apart we become, we'll still be sailing in the same sky. The same sky, the same clouds, the same wind. We'll always be together in one way or another. We'll never forget you. Oh, Cheesy, but moving. Captain, take care of yourself. I wish you all the luck in the world. Captain, you better visit us on Crescent Isle. Where's that? <laughs> Maybe I will someday. Farewell. Does he even know where that is? Or could he? Okay. What do we do next? Is it back to Crescent Isle again? You haven't told us. You haven't told us. I think... Is implied. <laughs> items. Let me check something. Oh, wait. I meant key items. Um, so we got green, red, purple, and blue. What's the raw one? Found on Shrine Island and used wilderness. Refined. Okay. So we got four. No. Three. Four. Ah, oh, no. These are. Oh, I got a bit mixed up then. It's the crystals I'm looking for. Right, green, red, blue, and purple. Yellow with Valuan. The only one we have no sort of mention of is silver. Which, you know, is going to be a bit of an odd one, I think. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get us back to Crescent Isle. And then we'll carry on from there. I'm not sure if we'll have time. I'll, I'll wrap up the episode either way. See you in a sec. Okay, we are back. Let's head on in. See, the game didn't directly tell you you needed to come here, did it? But you, you do. <laughs> Hi. They're back, and the hull seems to be in one piece. Of course it's in one piece, a little ice isn't going to hurt it one bit. Well, it did crash through the ice, I don't know how they got it out there. But that book from Yafutoma. I built an engine for you, using the plans in that book. Until now, you haven't been able to fly above or below the clouds because the pressure differences were too hard on your engine. But now that's not a problem. You'll be able to fly over mountains and beneath large islands. You'll be flying all over the damn place. It actually unlocks a lot of optional stuff, but I'm... Like I said before, I, I'm more intent on sort of finishing the game and just relaxing into it as much as possible. With a new engine, we'll be able to travel to more places than ever before. This is true. Yeah. Right, everyone, to the meeting room. Yeah, let's get it. Save point. I'm not too bothered about the save point right now. Not right now. <laughs> so yeah, let's go up the pole, shall we? Not much difference between which way you go, but we'll do this. See, when I wake up now, I know that you can go back to the ice ruins, and I think if you go under the ice and go into the ice ruins that way, you can get another moonfish, wasn't it? If you're going for 100%. So there is that. And there are really good rewards if you get all the moonfish. But... No. Right, meeting room. Oh, hello. 
decorate the island? What have we got? Yeah, let's get a fountain. Go on, then. <laughs> Look at it. We need that fountain. And it's not a log cabin here either now. Look at it all. Because it, I said to, to change it, didn't I? Wow, everything's just getting better and better. I love that, giving you the view like that. It feels like, you know when you're on a Ferris wheel and they're just loading up the carriages and moving it up one at a time? <laughs> that sort of slow speed then <laughs> reminded me of it for some reason. Here we go then. Let's plan out how we get the silver one next, I guess. We've got the purple crystal. What's left? The yellow and silver. Uh -huh. Sil uh, Silvite elders already have the silver crystal. So we really only have to worry about the yellow one. Oh, okay. Looks like our mission is almost finished. Yay! But wait, wasn't the yellow crystal located in the Moor of Tartus in Valua? Last time we went there, we couldn't get in because the opening was sealed. Oh yeah! Sorry, I, f I forgot all about that. <laughs> yeah, the Valorants have made several un unsuccessful attempts at removing the seal. But perhaps we might be able to bypass the seal with the Delphinus new engine. According to the geologists of the Valuan Empire, The lower layers of the Valuan Islands are filled with cracks and fissures. In other words, there's a whole system of subterranean tunnels running through Valua. So all we have to do is fly around underneath Valua and look for an opening. I see. In other words, if we can't get in from the top, we'll try and get in from the bottom. Nice. We'll fly below Valua and look for an opening underneath the island. Once we get inside the tunnels, we should be able to find the crystal. Okay, that's, that's our plan. Since we can fly higher and lower than we have uh, before, we might as well take advantage of it. Exactly. Let's rest up today. We'll leave for Valua first thing tomorrow morning. Back there again. Third time? And something I haven't said about right now. Um, if you go high enough, I think you can avoid random encounters while flying around. Which is a godsend in this game. Let's get going then. Oh, I love how this place looks. Like when it was cabin loggy, that's where I'd like to go if, you know, I was actually living somewhere like that. But in terms of the game, I really like how it looks like this. I like, did you see the gravestone by there as well? I, it was only for a split second, it was on screen or anything. Um, it looks really nice. Like it is not just makeshift like, uh, <laughs> like it was when we first got to the island. I'm looking for the pole. Where am I going that way? Here it is. Whoop. Do you know what? I just finished playing through Alan Wake, the remaster. I loved it back on 360, but I just finished playing it. Um, again, for the PS5. And oh my god, it looks... It doesn't look any better. <laughs> not really. Not much better, anyway. But, oh my god. The nostalgia for the game. I love Stephen King, see? So, that's my thing. Right, so it's not going to hint at where we actually need to go next. That's a thing. But it did say Valor. So, oh, maybe that's a hint, I guess. So, what we want to do... If we go, I think, southwest a bit, we should see something. And then we can go... Can you see Bathay in the map? That's what we're going to try and do now. So if we go this way first. There should be a discovery around here as well. I remember somewhere around here. Ah, no, no, that's not it. That's fish. <laughs> Check the map. I don't think I'm going to find it. No, no, I'm not. I could fly around for ages looking for it, but I'm not that bothered. So let's go down, down, down. You can see there's a tunnel by there. So if we go under. Yeah, here you go. This is where we need to go. It tells you to go to Valua, but it doesn't give you any sort of indication of well, where the tunnel might be or anything like that. So, more of Tartus, that's where we're going to next. Sounds amazing, um, the name of the, the area. We've been healed with rest. Sometimes it doesn't in this game. Sometimes it doesn't give you MP back. But it, it looks like you're resting in plot. Anyways, 
this has been Greeny XI. Hope you've enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again in a bit when we make some more progress. I feel like we made quite a bit of progress today with uh, quite a short bit of time. So I'm happy with that. Thanks again for watching, folks. See you again in a bit when we go back to Valor.